There's a steel door down here. See if you can find the control switch. Here's a switch. Go ahead, try it. That's it. Come on down. Look at that poison gas. Is there a key to that lock? I never seen one. Now look in that drawer. Nothing here. And maybe I can pick it. Suffered no ill effects. He'll be all right now. Thank you, Doctor. Get the doctor's hat. He has. Good day, Miss Granville. Gentlemen. Good day, Doctor. When more men get here, we'll make a thorough search of the house. Meanwhile, there are some questions I'd like to ask you. The building is surrounded. They're bound to find these secret passages sooner or later. That's what worries me. Yes, but it'll take them a little time. In the meanwhile, come with me. It'll be dark pretty soon. And Harry Crowell, alias 39013, was motivated mostly by revenge. Yes. By means of promising them large portions of my fortune, he managed to bribe Stanley and Dr. Malcolm to join him in his plan for revenge, which was simply this, to bring me to this house, keep me in this cell while he came to live here himself impersonating me and to destroy all the enterprises that I'd taken my whole life in building up. How terrible. When did you boys become interested in 39 or 13? When he cost my kid brother his life. We were at the amusement pier going through our regular routine. Thanks to Blanche, 
fix them, put us to work. Which was a happy move for all of us. It certainly was. But tell me, how did you keep him from destroying the Channel Tunnel? Well, that was more luck than anything else. We were making a final inspection of the tunnel before the official opening, when I happened to hear an unusual sound. until they start into the tunnel. Okay, shut her off. What's the matter? I just heard a strange noise. It seemed to come overhead. Something suspicious? I don't know. It stopped suddenly. Well, I guess it couldn't have mounted too much. I'm rounding up all the men. You better get out of here now. The ceremony's due to start. Yes, sir. I'm going to use your phone, Al. I wouldn't use that phone if I were you. You're not me. Hello, hello? This phone is dead. Well, wait a minute. What's your hurry? Look, I was supposed to take orders from you, but from now on, I'm doing my own thinking. There's something wrong back in that tunnel, and I'm going to find out what it is. Call the guards! This man is going to try and wreck the tunnel! Oh. Oh. Hey, what's the idea?
clever plot and could well have ended disastrously for all concerned. Especially as it turned out, some of Dixon's own men were in the pay of 39013. One thing more, however, still remains a mystery. The identity of the Red Circle. Yes. Who was it that kept sending us those friendly warnings? Often in time to save our lives. I can answer that. I sent them. You? Yes. Shortly after you daredevils came to work here, I went to see Grandfather and there was no one in the audience room. Father, but I... Well, you're not my grandfather. Stop it. You're rather an inquisitive young lady, aren't you? Come here. You're right, Miss Granville. I'm not your grandfather. father's ex-partner, the man he sent to prison, 39 13 And if you tell anyone that I am not your grandfather, it will automatically cost him his life. Where is he? What have you done with him? I'll take you to him, my dear. Blindfolded. in a car and we drove for possibly an hour until we reached the place where he told me my grandfather was being held prisoner. But wasn't Mr. Granville in this house all the time? Yes, I know that now. The drive was a trick to make me believe grandfather was many miles from here. When the car finally stopped, I was led, still blindfolded, into a house. I know now it was this house. We went through a passage and down a steep flight of stairs. You a visitor. Grant. Grandfather. What have they done to you? Crowl, if you brought her here to harm her, huh? You needn't be alarmed, my friend. She's safe enough. Now your life depends upon her. Perhaps I'd better explain more fully. If I am arrested. And this container cannot be filled, and it must be filled ever so often, or else those lethal gas capsules will fall and break on the floor. And your grandfather would die before anyone could find him. Do you understand? He'd die. Later, he blindfolded me again and brought me back here. So you see how difficult it was for me, knowing all along that 39013 was impersonating my grandfather, and yet, not being able to tell anyone. I knew I had to help and realized I must do so in such a manner that even 39013 wouldn't suspect it was I. That's how I came to use your own symbol and became the mysterious Red Circle. Thanks to Snowflake and Tuffy, I was able to deliver messages at times when I would otherwise have been detected. Well, I certainly have to hand it to you. You did a swell job. By the way, while you were getting this information, which you gave us as our mysterious friend, the Red Circle, did you ever notice anything that looked like the opening to a secret passage? Why, yes. One night, I... 